Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So let's get straight into a reading and pull your cards. Now I am doing a mini reading this week Capricorn. It's just been a bit crazy between Christmas and New Year. But nevertheless, if it's meant to resonate for you, it still will. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so I'm pulling three cards. The first card is the challenge that you face for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card, the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify if we need to and pull a final card at the end. Okay, so message for our lovely Capricorns, please. There we go. So we have the five of pentacles in your challenge position. So the Three of Swords is advice from Spirit and your outcome we have the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck Capricorn we have the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm going to clarify what this three of cup, three of swords is. Let's clarify this three of swords for Capricorn, please. Let's clarify this three of swords for Capricorn. Let's clarify this three of swords for Capricorn, please. you we've got the ending card the phoenix rising um okay capricorn it feels in this situation this five of pentacles you know pentacles can be to do with our money career can be to do with our property can be to do with our foundational relationships or health. The, it feels in this situation, I mean, there could have been, sometimes it can be about financial loss or changes in your finances when you're feeling the pinch. You know, this is a card of feeling lack. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy of the more lack you allow you to own, that you allow, you allow to own you, and um, the more lack you'll feel, the more lack you vocalize. It's that kind of energy of the lack mindset. Um, it is li linked with the law of attraction. What you put out to the universe is what you get back is what you're rewarded with. And if it's that negative energy of feeling lack, there's definitely an energy here of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So there is a need to see the bigger picture when the five of pentacles appears. There's a need to get perspective. There's a need to see beyond the now. And even in your darkest times, I mean, this church window is still telling you that you're being watched over by spirit. So, challenging energy. I mean, sometimes it can be an energy of begrudging as well. If somebody else is okay and you're not, if somebody is taking care of themselves and, you, you know, you've been left out in the cold, so to speak. I mean, this can be to do with job losses or changes in your finances. Certainly with coronavirus, there's, there's a lot going on in terms of people, you know, redundancy. There's, there's job losses. There's things to do with uh, pay being reduced, you know, that kind of energy. So some of you may well have experienced that and feeling the lack, feeling the physical lack. I mean, the, the situation is real, um, but it is how you constructively try and get perspective in that energy that makes all the difference. Because this Three of Swords is, Three of Swords is a card of, disappointment it's a testing energy it's an energy of it can sometimes be about something coming to light that hurts you deeply um because generally the heart energy is 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 um a great energy of trust so you might have trusted somebody in a situation i mean 
Certainly if it's to do with In, in relationships, it can be to do with third party situations. It can be to do with the truth coming to light that hurts you deeply in whatever situation. It can be to do with, um, there's levels to this car, but it can be a, a testing time. Something testing you, the hurt, the emotional pain that's caused as a result of a situation. So it's either, like I said, it could be any one of those, or it could be a third thing that's affecting you. For example, if it's not a relationship, but it's something that impacts your relationship, it could be that third thing that's impacting your relationship. And that could be money, career, business. Um, the death card is a card of endings. So the message from spirit is saying this time of emotional pain is about to come to a close, which is beautiful because this is the Phoenix Rising card. It's also a card of transformation as well. The death card, we probably don't talk about that enough Capricorn, but it is a transformational energy. This is the white in that card is the alchemist's color. And the alchemist changed something from base metal to gold. So though you may have experienced endings, though you may have experienced deep change in your circumstances, something is about to end here. And it feels to do with the pain, the pain, a difficult, challenging, painful period in your life. Because the phoenix rising, the phoenix actively destroys the old in order to bring the new in, in order to rise in its true light, in its true colours. So there's definitely an energy of metamorphosis happening here, metamorphosis transformation in this card. Now the king of wands can represent a person in your life. Let me just clarify this king of wands. Let's clarify this King of Wands for Capricorn. Let's clarify this King of Wands for Capricorn. Let's clarify this King of Wands for Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you. We've got the Queen of Swords. So, interestingly enough, the, I mean, the Queen of Swords... King of Wands. She is somebody who understands how to get balance back in their world. You know, she, under, she understands how to focus on where she needs to focus to get the gain, to get the success. She makes calculated choices, decisions, plans, where she knows she's going to win. You know, it's that kind of energy. So for some of you, there's an energy of balance being restored with this King of Wands. And it's interesting because I'm going from the Three of Swords to the Three of Cups and negative to a positive, the transformation, which is what I mentioned in the Death card. Um and out with the old, in with the new. For some of you, I mean, the Queen of Swords, she can also reflect communication from somebody, um, direct communication with somebody. And this is also a communication energy, the three of, one, three of Cups. So there's definitely an energy here. There could be a meeting here, Capricorn. Could represent, I mean, this can be about creative projects, collaborations. A meeting to do with a creative project could even be to do with an opportunity because the King of Wands can offer an opportunity here. Um, but this is the this is definitely an energy of reasons to celebrate. All uh, it can also mean uh, the winter is over, the spring is here. You're about to reap the rewards of your hard work. The period of of cold of coldness, the winter. You can see all the snow on the ground is over and you can see the harvest beginning to come in here and that's why these people are celebrating 
course, it's, a, it's an energy of, of collective teamwork, collaboration, uh, unity. There's this, there's this energy here. If there could be an important meeting here, Capricorn, an important meeting, or maybe some news of a meeting. It could be to do with some kind of opportunity or some collaborative project. Sometimes it can be a community thing as well here. But it definitely feels like it holds potential because the King of Wands is the person with, you know, the grand vision, somebody who is a go-getter, somebody who doesn't rest on their laurels, they take action, they take the lead. So if this is you, Capricorn, there's definitely an energy of now is the time to take the lead, take the chance. But it feels it's to do with a person. It feels like a person or maybe even two people. You might be collaborating with somebody here. You might be attending a meeting or there could be some news of a meeting. And it's part of this transformation. It's part of your metamorphosis from the chrysalis to the butterfly. It's part of you emerging in success, in your true light, in your true colours. So <laughs> it feels like there's some kind of meeting, collaboration, opportunity coming your way. Um, take it as you, as you will. Like I said, it will, won't resonate with everybody. But I'm feeling that there is some either collaborative project or news of a collaborative project on news to do with some kind of meeting. And it feels like it will bring change in your situation. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look. What did I say? <laughs> yeah, he is offering you some kind of... No, it can be... I mean, the Page of Pentacles can be a manifesting energy. So... Like I said, maybe some discussion or news to do with some collaborative project here or a meeting that you might be having with other like-minded people. Um, but it's bringing the beginnings of something new into your world. The Page of Pentacles is very good. I mean, it represents the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change in a positive way. Uh, and it can be to do with career financial opportunities, Capricorn. So... I mean, it could be news to do with a meeting, an interview, meeting with somebody here. Um, it can also be your own if you're combining with somebody to start something up. I mean, this is a card of manifesting. So it feels very beautiful, I have to say, Capricorn, to what resonates for you. But I love the energy that the Page of Pentacles has appeared because that is absolutely Earth energy. It's something that is very much in line with your element what you're really capable of, you know, um, the page of pentacles sows, it sows the seeds for long-term growth. So either you're manifesting something with like-minded people or it is to do with some kind of opportunity, career financial coming your way. So very, very beautiful indeed. Very much an energy of out with the old, in with the new this week, uh, certainly with that death card. So final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn, thank you. We have the P Panther protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Yeah, I think this is a great turning point for you this week. You know, you're moving from something that was quite negative and quite hurtful to something that is going to bring you celebration and joy and happiness and unity with like-minded people so i really like the energy of this capricorn for that reason lovely energy i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you capricorn and i will see you next time thank you